Hey, what's going on, guys? My name's Omega, and my team is Sonix. And oh my goodness, one more day until the release of Black Ops 2. Who's pumped? Come on, who is pumped? I mean, I'm amping myself up a lot about this for the simple fact that I have this really strange pad. I mean, it's sort of strange. I mean, a lot of you guys might think it's weird or, or whatever, but um, I tend to not go backwards if, if I put it into that sort of terms. Basically, here's an example. When Modern Warfare 3 was released uh, onto our shelves, I stopped playing Black Ops, the, the first Black Ops, entirely. I, I basically never went back to it. I, I just stayed for the whole year. I was on Modern Warfare 3, and that's all I played for the whole year. And it's going to be the exact same. And I can just tell it's going to be the exact same for Black Ops 2. All I will play is Black Ops 2, and I have seem to have this weird pattern where where that's what happens it, it just seems to work out like that it's really strange and um i just i can't see myself going backwards even though i i love the game i just i like to stick with the 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 latest call of duty that's out and it's just how i've always been but um a little bit strange but um it also is i guess it's just who i am so yeah i get really amped up when another call of duty is released um, I guess it's good that they release it once a year, eh? <laughs> um, anyway, that's pretty much um, not the main reason I was I came to really talk to you guys. I really, really want to clear some other things up, especially before Black Ops 2 is released. As it's only a day away, I had to make a commentary. And this gameplay they're watching right now is a 30 and 12. It's not an amazing score that you know everyone you know has. I just think this gameplay is appropriate for what I'm talking about, and you're about to see right now and there we go that was a little bit of a you know it was a faded quad feed now <clears throat> to a lot of you that is considered no good um, it's not standard standardized you know it's not it's not something that you could use in an episode or a montage and this is the main reason that, that I really I really wanted to talk to you guys um, standards and I, of course I saw a, a, a video the other day from someone that I watched quite a bit and I, I've, I've, I've watched him for a very very long time and he's actually the same person that has inspired me to uh, create a team uh, etc and of course I've mentioned him before it is uh, Optic Hex he, he, you know he really does know what he's talking about when it comes to, to teams and stuff like that and I will always say that I, I look to him because of you know of what he's done and the hard work that he's put in he really deserves um, you know, gratitude for what he does, and honestly, I I had to speak my mind because I saw that um, Hex recently did a commentary about the the standards, and so I thought to myself, well, I would like to share my opinion as well, because um, I have I kind of agree with them, and then I kind of don't. Um, I just I you know I really want your guys' opinions, and that opinion is standard. Um, basically. You guys, the, I've seen as the as the generations have moved on. Um, it's you know I started when I started playing Call of Duty. I started probably about the release of Modern Warfare 2, or it was just before the release of Modern Warfare 2. Just on COD 4 and that, and I, I saw a mate playing Call of Duty, and I thought it was sick, and I started playing it, and I loved the game, and I obviously brought it and got into it. And then I started watching obviously Optic and you know Radi Radi, and then got right into it. But um, as I've been playing Call of Duty over however long the heck I've been playing Call of Duty, I've noticed the standards change rapidly, and it's gotten from the point where people are more concerned, rather than the, the streaks that you're getting and the gameplay, people are now more concerned on the text on the bottom left corner of the screen. Now, I'm not saying this is a bad thing, and I'm also not saying it's a good thing. Um... I guess it's just another way to to you know approach the game or something different. I, I really want your guys' opinion because I wanted to talk to you guys about something, uh, but just especially before Black Ops 2 is released, and that is the the point of should I make montages, and the reason why or, or episodes, and the reason why I ask this is because if I were to make montages or episodes, I know that it would be different to what you guys want to see. You guys are looking for the text on the bottom left hand corner, but if I made a montage it wouldn't be quite like that, it would be more along the lines of streak sniping. And the reason for this, you got, you know, you probably, you probably, probably 
point at me and go, you know, he's a bad uh, sniper because he can't get four in a row. But I don't obviously agree with that. Um, I think everything in general makes a great sniper, and that means getting a gameplay, getting the solid quads, you know, getting, you know, you can be good at sniping at anything you do when you snipe. You can be a great quick scoper, you can get gameplays, and you are a good sniper. Or you can go into drop zones and get a clean quad and be a good sniper, you know. There are different uh, agendas, I guess, nowadays of sniping. Uh, you got your commentators and then, you, you know, you got your feeders or whatnot. But, um... There isn't really any room anymore in this community for street snipers that want to show, or, you know, like, maybe if I put it on the lines of Battlefield spec, you know, like, as Call of Duty used to be a long time ago when people got a streak, like, example, Optic Predator, he would put it into his, um, into his episodes or montages. You know, they weren't feeds, but I enjoyed watching them because of their streaks. Now... I'm not saying, I'm not telling you guys that, you know, I can't get a feed, blah, blah, blah. I'm not trying to get at that. What I'm trying to say is, um, what I'm trying to say is I don't actually enjoy it. Now, a lot of you, you know, I, I, I'm one of those people that are different and, you know, a lot of, of course, as I noticed, the community sort of, you know, it follows each other. You know, if, if, if the big guys are doing this, you know, everyone sort of does it and stuff like that. But I like to point myself as a little bit different, as you guys know. I, I um, like to be original with everything. And um, it's not just the idea that being original is streak sniping. I, I just enjoy it. I don't enjoy getting the clean quads in the feed and trying to keep up, you know, with it all. What I enjoy doing is, is getting the streaks and, and getting that gameplay. And what I wanted to do is make montages of the streaks that I get out of my gameplays. And I wanted to put them together for you guys and show you. And I thought oh, it just sort of be awesome. And I wanted to do this for Black Ops 2, right? But I, I'm my concern is that someone will come along and point the finger and go, Hey, look, Omega hasn't got, you know, a clean quad in the feed. It's it, the gameplay, you know, it's no good. And, I, I mean... Of course, I'm not too worried about getting pointed the finger at. What I'm what I'm wanting is because I obviously care about you guys and I care about myself. I want to know what you guys want to see. Do you want to see me streak sniping on Call of Duty Black Ops 2 and getting these streaks, or do you not? That, that, I really want your opinion on this one, guys. Um, you know, it's it's really it's really important for me to have your guys' opinion. I mean, if you want to see me making montages and episodes in, because I get asked this question. You know, heaps. You know, why don't you bring out montages? Why don't you pull out episodes of Mega? We never see you do anything for the clan, you know, blah, blah. Um, which obviously isn't true. I, I put a lot of work into Sinex. So I, I, I do a lot. Like, and I can explain everything soon. Um, I just really wanted your opinion on what, if, if you guys think it would be awesome if you could see, you know, would see my streak sniping. Because that's what I enjoy doing. And and I I just I just I don't really want to focus on getting you know like a clean quad in the feed. Not saying that it's bad. It's just what I I like to do, and that is streak sniping and getting gameplays. Uh, I really want you guys' opinions on this. It's it's very important to me. Uh, if you guys are keen to see it, I'm willing to make one, and and we'll go from there and see what happens. You know, I, I just really really want you guys' opinions. So please comment below this video and talk to me about all your thoughts and what you guys think of the standard today. I'm not saying that the stand is bad, I think the stand is great. I know that there is skill involved with a clean quad. There is a lot of skill involved. And I know that, and, you know, it's just a different variety of skill, if you know what I mean by that, guys. Um, it's, it, it, honestly, it does, it takes a lot of skill, and I know that. Because, you know, I know, I've attend of course, I've gone out there and gotten quads and that, and it is hard. It is hard to get four in a row, pack them off, you know legitimately in, in a game. It's not the easiest thing to do. And of course it requires skill, you know, but it is a different variation of skill if you guys want to understand what I'm saying. Uh, this gameplay has uh, ended. Thank you so much for listening in to me today. I really want to share my uh, thought of mind tonight and um, and I want your guys' opinion on that and what you guys think. Um, as you guys have noticed, I have got a banner on my channel as of now. It's a really sick Call of Duty Black Ops 2 banner. Thank you so much to Ken for helping me out getting my ch my channel sorted out with Machinima finally. 
Um, he really likes to stick his back out there for people, and it's amazing. Thank you so much, Ken, for helping me out with that. And thanks a lot to Connor for, for making me that sick as... Um, that's sick as Call of Duty Black Ops 2 background. I absolutely love it, Connor. Thank you so much, mate. I'm going to leave um, his channel in the description so you guys can check out that GFX artist. He's sick and underrated. Uh, anyway, I'll be back again with another commentary, and it will be Black Ops 2. I will be back with another commentary, and it's going to be Black Ops 2. It's going to be sick, guys. Really amped for it. And don't forget to comment below on your opinions on what you think about the standards of today. Thank you so much, guys. This has been Sinex Omega here, and I'm out.